the number 0 0.063897 is between what two numbers in the hundredths place value. So to start off, we need to recognize that looking at the given number, the six here is in the hundredths place value. So we want to find what two numbers this is between using just the hundredths place value. So we want to figure out what number is just less than the given number using just the hundredths place value. So this number is going to be greater than some number in the form of zero, point, and then two decimal places. And we also don't know what number it's just less than using the same number of decimal places. So we'd have a number here in the form of zero, point, and then two decimal places. One way to do this is to think of running this number down and then running this number up to the hundredths place value. So if we run this number down to the hundredths place value, we would keep this as six and eliminate the remaining digits to the right. So we would have 0 0.06 or six hundredths here. And even though this number doesn't round up, if it did, we would change the six to a seven, so this number would have to be less than 0 0.07 using the hundredths place value. So these would be the two numbers that the given number is between using the hundredths place value, which means if we were to plot these two numbers on the number line, for example, if we put 0 0.06 here, or six hundredths, and 0 0.07 here, or seven hundredths, Notice how this number here has a three in the thousandths place value, so it's going to be a little bit closer to the left or to 0 0.06. Let's go ahead and say that it would be right here. And one way to compare decimals is to make sure they have the same number of digits to the right of the decimal point. Notice how this has six digits to the right of the decimal point. So let's go ahead and add four zeros here. So this has six digits to the right, and four zeros here for the same reason. Now let's take a moment and compare corresponding place values. Notice how they all contain a zero in the tenths. Next, there's a six in the hundredths here, as well as for this number here. Notice the number on the right has a seven in the hundredths place value. So we know 0 0.07 is larger than the given number. And if we go one more place value, notice how here we have a three in the thousandths but this number here has a zero in the thousandths, so it has to be less than the given number. So now we verified that the given number is between these two numbers to the hundredths place value. We do want to make sure that we only give our answer using the hundredths place value, which means the given number is greater than 0 0.06 or six hundredths and less than 0 0.07 or seven hundredths. I hope this explanation helps. We'll take a look at another example in the next video.